Duck, get over here, now. Er, er, shout my ear anymore. I'm going to lose what little hearing I have left. Shut up. A bomb went off in one of the safe houses. This idiot was inside the blast range and didn't shift fast enough. Hey, maybe make fun of the hurt person a little less. I can't come up with any witty remarks as quickly in this state. Breathe deep. Putting you down is gonna hurt. Just do it! Ah, oh, fuck! We've got about a dozen more in his condition or worse. We have our healers trying to fix them up, but there's not nearly enough of them, and this idiot wouldn't let me take them to one. Well, I couldn't carry him in my human form, now could I? Are you really scolding me for traveling around half-shifted? This is hardly the time. I can take care of anyone who sees me like this. This isn't exactly my first time. Oh no, Mom and Dad are fighting again. Shut up! Oh great. Now it's in stereo. Shifting is going to hurt, Doc. Do I have to? The Doc is right. There'd be no way she could get under your scales now. Ah, uh, fuck. Fine. Oh, fuck. I'm fine. The blood isn't mine. Why? Yeah, I can hold him down. Be gentle with me, boss. Shut it! Ah, ah, is there any way you can make that less painful? It feels like you're playing operation with my body. Would knocking him out make this any easier? What happened to offering pain meds first? Shrapnel. How deep? Shit. You should have shifted sooner, you idiot. Sorry. I didn't think I was going to get blown up tonight. Just stay still and let the doc do her thing. I don't know. My mind was racing, and my only thought was to just bring him here. He's already losing a lot of blood, and I don't want him waiting with the others. Just fix him. So, what's the recovery time, Doc? You think I'll be good to go out tomorrow? Oh, no. You're taking the time to rest. I'll have one of the others patrol tomorrow. But, boss... That's an order, Felix. Fine. Doc, are you still good to help a few more people tonight? Follow me. Felix, you stay here and rest. I'll have one of the men come by to give you a hand in a little bit. It's just a flesh wound, you know. I can walk. I don't care. Stay, or I will break your legs and force you to stay. We brought the rest of them into the dining room in the great room in the mansion. Like I said, a few of our healers are already there working on them, but we need someone that knows what they're doing when the magic runs out.
What? Oh. Oh, I didn't notice. My mind is on other things. I'm concerned. A bunch of my men almost died tonight, and a few of them are in really bad condition. And of course, I can't take them to a hospital even though I paid for the damn thing. And because most of them shifted during the blast and they can't shift back, I can hide the small things, but that many shifters in a building? Even with magic? It's too short notice to get a good witch to cast a huge spell like that. And right now, we're on a time crunch. Four dragon shifters, uh, ten werewolves, eight bear shifters, and a dozen or so others. Uh, I couldn't really tell the rest. I got there after the bomb went off. Uh, they were just doing a supply restock, and Felix was overseeing it. I was supposed to, but I got caught up in a meeting with the mayor. Of course, I guess that means one of two things. Either it was dumb luck that they decided to attack there, or someone knew I was supposed to be there. They wouldn't have used a bomb that powerful just to destroy a safe house. <sighs> of course we know who it is. Those Nagas. They did leave a calling card. Ah, oh, they're cowards. Using a bomb and then ambushing us like that. That is not your main concern right now. I need you to head into the house and help as many people as you can. I've already told the men that they're to follow your orders. I need to go and handle a few things, so you'll be in charge. If anyone gives you shit, they know they'll have to answer to me. You'll be fine. I trust you to do the work and to do it well. My men are loyal to me, so they won't give you any problems. Plus, I know you have more than enough backbone to push them around. Doc? <sighs> Look, I need you to take charge of this situation here. You're the best medical expert we have right now. I need you to be on your A-game tonight and focus on helping as many of these people as you can. I know you can do it. I've seen you work under pressure. Up close, too. Just get it done, all right? Good. Now get inside. I'll talk to you once this is all sorted out. Yes, yes. I know I owe you a new door. I promise I'm not trying to make a habit of that, by the way. <laughs> 